Good evening or good morning, everybody. So we're looking at um, reducing balance depreciation with recurrence relations now. We've previously hopefully looked at um, compound interest. This is basically the reverse of that. Okay, So lots of things that are similar. We have a V0, which is our start. We have an amount that something is depreciating at. Okay, which means it's that's how much it's going down by every year per annum per year. Okay, so the first thing we want to be able to do is use the recurrence relation to find the value of the office furniture correct to the nearest cent, two decimal places, after one, two, three years. Alrighty, so let's kick that off now. Okay, got the recurrence relation. All we're going to do is throw in all our values. So V0 is 6,900 and VN plus one is equal to 0 0.93 times VN. Okay, first thing we wanna work out is what it's worth after one year. So one year is gonna be v0 plus 1 which is 0 0.93 times 6900 punch that into your calculator and v1 is equal to 6400 and 17. So you'll see this time from the original figure to our answer, we've dropped. So that has gone down effectively uh, 7%. All right, hence the 7% there. All right, V1. So V2 is going to be V1, the figure we just worked out plus one more iteration, so 0 0.93 times $6,417, which is equal to $5,967.81, exactly. So that is V2, or after two years, and therefore V3, is our last answer plus one more application of the drop in interest. Okay. And after. Oops, wrong button. After that, we get 5550. 5, 5, 0.06 to the nearest set. Okay, so after three years, The what is it, office furniture? Yeah, office furniture is worth $5,550.06. Okay, determine when the value for the furniture, value of the investment will be first less than $5,000. Okay, so we simply continue this. So the easiest thing to do is to put in, uh, what have we got? 6000 900, this is part B, 6,900. Uh, on your calculator, hit XE or equals, depending on if you're using a CAS, etc. So 6,900 equals. Then you want to multiply that answer by 0 0.93, the rate of change, and see how many times you hit 
exe before it gets below our figure of $5,000. So hit it once, gets to 6417. Again, we get to 5967.81. Hit it again. So this is following the pattern of what we've done on the left there. 0 0.06, hit it again, gets to 5161.56, just to be accurate, and one more time, gets us down below that, so 4825 cents. Okay, so determine when the value, so the value will first drop under, so this was, if we go to, not that, so this was once to get to there. This is the second time, third, fourth, fifth. Okay, so the value will be first under $5,000 after five years. And last of all, part C, write down the recurrence relation. If the furniture was valued at 7,500, depreciate a reducing balance line of 8.4% per annum. Okay, key parts with in our recurrence relations, we have a V0, uh, that's equal to $7,500, $7, and our recurrence relation, VN plus one, is equal to, we need our rate of change. Now, when it's a reducing balance or depreciation, um, our R value is one take away the percentage over 100 because we're going under one. Uh, earlier, we've gone over how a compound interest is above one, one plus. This is losing 7% off the original. The original is 100%. Sorry, this is losing 8.4% now before it was 7%. So we get a value of... Uh, 0 0.916. Okay. So our R, 0 0.916 times VN. And there's our recurrence relation. So remember your key, key parts to it, having V0 there your R value should be under one. Otherwise, you know you're wrong because it's gonna go up in value, not down. Okay, and that is always just VN uh, because we're always using V0 or whatever the previous value is to build our occurrence relation. Okay, hope that helps in your uh, path along financial maths. Keep smiling, hit subscribe buttons and thumbs ups, and we'll see you next time. Cheers, gang. Bye.